and Jux of the Week with Alia Daffrey. What did the beach say to the tide when it came in? Long time no see. <laughs> Why do dragons sleep during the day? So they can fight nights. <laughs> what do you call an old snowman? A puddle. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. Have a great day and a great week. See you next week. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Fun Facts. Today in Fun Facts, we're going to talk about scientists. Mary Curie is the only person to win Nobel Prizes in two different sciences. No, a Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903 for her work on radiation, and a Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2011 for her discovery and work on radium and polonium. Francis Crick, who helped discover the structure of DNA, believed that we came from aliens. Leonardo da Vinci wrote his ideas backwards to avoid plagiarism. When Albert Einstein died, his brain was given to scientists. Leonardo da Vinci was the first person to propose the concept of contact lenses. Thank you for joining today's Fun Facts, and I hope to see you all next week. Hey guys, um, this is the music segment, but for Ramadan, we're changing it to the poetry segment. I tried, I decided to try a, something new with this filter, black and white. Anyways, um, so for the poetry segment this week, um, I'm going to be talking about what makes a poem a poem. In 1995, Muhammad Ali created the shortest poem ever. It goes like this. Me, we. That's, that's the end of the poem. So this goes back to our question, what actually makes a poem a poem? Poets themselves struggle with answering that question. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna give you like an example of common qualities seen in poems so you can identify them yourselves. So usually poet, poetry, um, it brings out a language's music, musical characteristics. If you've ever heard Arabic poetry, you'd see how beautiful the language is just through its poetry. Um, you, it, poet, poetry also uses, um, it, condenses language the language so let's say you have like a piece of literature that's like this big if it was a poet if it was a poem it'd be like way shorter because poetry is like straight to the point it's condensed um so poems also often feature intense feelings remember like these qualities aren't in every single poem you don't you don't see all three of them in every single poem but it's something that you often see so intense feelings obviously um poetry is an art it's a way of self-expression so of course there will be intense feelings because people are expressing themselves through the artwork um like our poem poems also find a way to challenge simple meanings so you can interpret a poem completely different from another person because you're not the same and 
the po the poem isn't trying to make you think one thing. It can you it's open for interpretation. Um so now the most debatable um part of poetry. Are songwriters poets? So would songs be classed as poetry? Many don't rec re regard um, songwriters as poets in a literary sense, but many artists like Paul Simon, Bob Dylan, and Tupac Shakur can easily be classed as poets with or without music because their music is, it has all those little details that are so obviously poetry that even without a beat you can hear, oh, that is definitely poetry. Um, also, many genres of music, including rap, they what makes them music is because they also is because of the rhyme, the rhythm, the imagery, and those are inseparable from their music form.